Let's take a fact, another problem on factorization through regrouping. So you need to factorize this number, which is easier said than done. Now I start looking at this number and I see, is there something common across all these numbers? And I notice that unfortunately across these four numbers, there is nothing which is common. So let's say I take three, three was not going to divide this. Although three can divide six, nine and 15, it will not divide 10. Okay, so let me try to see what I can do around here. Now suppose if I take this as these two pairs and these two pairs, the idea is that whatever you take here, suppose you take two is the common link here because two will divide both six and 10. You have to kind of do a least common multiple. So two is the number which divides both these numbers, so five and three. If you take three, it will not divide this, this. So basically that's how you work it around. What will I get? I will get three and X is also common. So I will get three here minus three Y minus five, right? Now here, again, if I see, what do I get? I can take minus three as common because that's the number which divides both of them. And I will get three Y minus five. Minus, because minus five into minus three will give me 15. Again, what do I notice? Interestingly, three Y minus five is common in both these cases. So I can take three Y minus five as common into what? 2x minus 3. So 3y minus 5 and 2x minus 3 become the factors of 6xy minus 10x. Now let me take you through one small simple variation. If suppose you were given 6xy minus 9y minus 10x plus 15. Then what would have happened? Again, here also, if you work it out somewhat similarly, suppose you take three y as common between these two numbers. Suppose you group these two and you group these two. You know, three divides both six and nine and y is also present in both of them. So I take three y as common into, what can I write here? Two x minus three. And then if you consider this group, you can take minus five as common because minus five will divide both this and this. And you can get two X minus three. Again, between these two, two X minus three is common. So I can write two X minus three into three Y. This number flows in here, minus five. And this is equal to this. So whether you do it this way or you do it the other way around, in both the cases, you will land up as the same factors.